Well, Republicans held another hearing about Hunter Biden on Monday. That was a complete and total flop. Devin Archer, the indicted witness that Republicans brought in did not provide any smoking gun evidence. In fact, he openly admitted that he can't put president Biden on the scene with Hunter Biden at any point. So oopsie do another failure by Republicans. And even though some Republicans have openly admitted, yeah, I didn't kind of get what we thought out of that. Other Republicans have been like, nope, totally proved everything we wanted. Oh, we're, we're so close now. And one of those people of course is Donald Trump. So after the dust settled on Monday, Donald Trump got on truth social. It said this, wow, crooked Joe Biden was on dozens of calls with Hunter's business associates. All right. I'm going to have to stop right there because you got your first sentence out and you've already lied. Devin Archer clearly said during his testimony that he has no evidence to suggest that president Biden was on any of those calls. There is nothing to support that claim. He literally said there's nothing to support that. And Trump immediately comes out of the gate on truth social, absolutely lying about what that witness told the committee. But Trump continued, he lied, said he didn't know anything about his son's business, demanded the Ukrainian prosecutor be fired immediately because the global community was wanting to fire that prosecutor because he wasn't going after corruption that was running rampant in his company. In fact, that prosecutor that did get fired actually refused to investigate corruption at Burisma where, where Hunter Biden had the contract. Like the prosecutor wasn't looking at Burisma and they actually wanted him to. So like, this is all very stupid, but Trump continued, this is amazingly corrupt behavior. Okay. He then continued, this is really bad news for Biden, which means I will probably be indicted again soon in order to kill the news cycle. Make America great again. I love how he always sounds off with that. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be indicted again because Hunter Biden's news is bad. Make America great again. But up, bump. Like it's a little jingle he has to do. Um, <laughs> that was so dumb. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, I'm going to be indicted again because all this Hunter Biden stuff, we all knew you were going to be indicted again. Like the whole country has been sitting on pins and needles for like two weeks now, expecting another indictment to come down literally any minute. It's not because of the Hunter Biden news cycle, but here's what happens. Trump goes out, makes a claim like this saying, well, Hunter Biden got bad news, even though he didn't. So I'm going to be indicted to shift the focus of the media. And then when he gets indicted again, he gets to go out and be like, see, I told you, I called it. Even though everybody already knows the indictments were coming down. Like Fannie Willis told us, I'm, I'm about to get him. Jack Smith told you, I'm about to get you. But Trump shifts the narrative, makes himself look like a prophet. And then all of his supporters buy into it. Like, well, Trump did tell us they were going to do it because they needed to shift the media cycle. And now here it is. Wow. He's so smart. He knows how it all works. He's not, this was not prophetic. You didn't need to be a psychic to know that he was going to be indicted again. They've all been telling us they were going to indict him again. That's what's maddening about this. Trump trying to claim credit for predicting something that everybody else in the country left and right had already predicted something the prosecutors already told us this is going to happen. <laughs> but here we are. Trump is trying to misrepresent, of course, what happened in those Hunter Biden hearings because he knows he's got bad legal problems that make Hunter Biden look like a, an, an altar boy, basically. Uh, and I'm not saying Hunter Biden didn't do anything wrong. What I am saying is I don't care. <laughs> I'm not saying he should get away with it. If Hunter Biden broke the law, prosecute him. Go through the justice system, stick them in prison. Honest to God, doesn't bother me. That's what should happen for people who break the law. But what I do care about much more than I care about Hunter Biden breaking the law is the former president of the United States breaking the law, possibly even while still serving as president. I think one of those things is bigger than the other. And if you think the bigger issue here is Hunter Biden, then clearly you're either not paying attention or you're probably hiding a couple MAGA hats somewhere in your closet. 
That is the only way that you could think that Hunter Biden is a bigger, more important criminal scandal than Donald Trump. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.